Okay, another question from Pierre. Mm -hmm. Kind of, it's a kind of a set of a three <laughs> questions that all link together. No worries. If I'm humble and in truth, mm -hmm. and if I can release my causal emotions without the help of God and get to a sixth sphere condition without God, mm -hmm. would that be called the quickest natural love process not involving God? Mm -hmm. And if God is involved, would the process be quicker or more enjoyable or more efficient? <laughs> and if so, could you explain why and how? All right, let me look at all of these things. Uh, <laughs> well, do you want me to talk you back through well, them? Well, no, let's go. Yep. There, there's a, a number of interesting statements in this question. Yep. He's first saying, if I am humble and in truth, yeah, and if I can release my cause and emotions without the help of God. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're humble and in truth, you would never try to release your causal emotions without God's help. Mm. Because humility would demand that you would have God's help, <laughs> actually. Yeah. And if you were in truth, you'd realise that a lot of your causal emotions are revolving around God. Right? So, yeah, <laughs> so, so in that you're saying if you're humble, then you're going to be open to truth and new ideas and seeking that, in fact. And so Not God only that, would be you're your going to be open one. to God. Yeah. And if you're in truth, you'll be open to God. Yeah. It's only people who are not humble and not in truth that choose the natural love path. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah. so the question sort of doesn't really make sense in a way, but we need to address the reasons why it doesn't make sense, yes. right? Yeah. So par part of it, this whole idea that you can be humble and in truth and yet not be connected with God, well, that's not true. If you're not connecting to God, you're not, in hum you're not being humble and you're not in truth. Because mm -hmm. the truth is God created the entire universe. Like you, you're missing out the biggest picture of the universe when you miss out God. Yeah. And the reality, so it's the biggest truth you're missing out, by the way. And if you're not humble, then, you, then you're not humble to every emotion. And that means you're not humble to every emotion that involves God. So, so how can you say on one hand you're humble and in truth, while at the other hand saying that you don't want to connect to God. Mm -hmm. uh, the two are not in hand in hand with each other, yep. actually. So I think the point of the question he's asking, though, is can you go through a, you know, emotional process in order to arrive in the sixth sphere? Yes, you can. Yeah. There are many spirits who have gone through this process and they've learnt to progress quite rapidly to the sixth sphere by going through an emotional process of releasing certain emotions, mm -hmm. but the emotions they allow themselves to release, because they're not completely humble to all emotion, yep. are the emotions that don't involve God. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so they're emotions that involve their fellow man and their relationship with fellow man and so forth. And that's why they become perfected in natural love, the love that comes out of them, but not perfected in their relationship with God. So, so it is possible to progress to the sixth dimension using two methods. One, suppressing all of your emotion, yep. which, is the sti which is still the preferred method by most people who, who arrive in the sixth sphere. Yep. And then there's this second method, which would be by processing through your emotion in the manners that we've described. Of course, you wouldn't be processing through the emotions relating to God. Otherwise, you would have been open to God before then yep. and you would have progressed beyond the sixth sphere. Yeah. So you're humble to certain emotions. Mm -hmm. In fact, almost all emotion except where it relates to God. Yeah, see, I wouldn't yeah. classify all emotion except where. The yeah. reality, the percentage of emotions that we have that relate, that to, relate to God far exceed the percentage of the emotions that we have that relate to any other being. This is the reason why we're so blocked to God. Yeah. And, and the reality is that the majority of us, if we had to analyse the percentage of emotions that are within an individual relating to other people and relating to God, it's heavily in favour of, in, when I say heavily in favour of God, what I mean is the majority of our unhealed emotions relate to God. Yeah. And a minority of our unhealed relation, emotions relate to other people. Yeah. This is why the majority of people who have progressed to the sixth dimension have no, real, no connection with God. Yeah. And also, no even connection with their own self emotionally, really. Yeah. Because they've had to suppress a large number of emotions in order pr to progress to the sixth dimension without God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what they have to do. So, so you will process the minority of your emotions by, by, you can process the minority of your emotions by going through this emotional process to become you know, into the sixth dimension of the spirit world in terms of perfected in your natural love. But there will still be the majority of your emotions to process through 
after that point yeah. relating to God. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Right. And so it often yeah. takes a person many, many years after they've reached the sixth sphere to reach the seventh, if they've progressed using any method. Any method that doesn't involve that God. That doesn't involve God. Because as we progress through the spheres involving God, then we are dealing with emotions that relate to God the whole time, Correct. aren't we? Correct. And so it's almost like we're getting through the bulk of the work as we go. Correct. Whereas someone who enters the sixth sphere, they've like concerted effort, deal, become perfect in natural love, but mm. not from what you're saying, not taken into account any of these other emotions. And so Correct. this transition from six to seven is actually got pretty bulk. Bulky There's a lot of work in involved in it. Work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's one further thing we should say about it though, and that is that the person who's progressed using their emotions to reach the sixth sphere, once they begin to focus on their relationship with God, will probably qu progress quite rapidly towards God after that point. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is they're not shut down towards their emotions. Yeah. Whereas a person who's progressed to the sixth dimension by using their intellect primarily and, and forcing their emotions to conform to their intellect, they will struggle immensely with the progress towards God after that point because they've yet to learn the secret of emotional work. Mm -hmm. And so that as a result of that, they are going to have far more struggles after they've reached the sixth dimension to connect to God than the person who's progressed to the sixth dimension by processing through their emotions to get there. Yeah. So it would certainly be, if it'd be better for the person who's progressed through their emotions after they've reached the sixth dimension to reach the seventh than it would be for a person who hasn't processed through their emotions at all okay. and rather suppressed their emotions and controlled their emotions and use their intellect to dominate themselves, they are going to find it much more difficult to yeah. make the transition. Okay. Mm. If we get then to the final part of Pierre's question, mm -hmm. which is um, if God is involved, would the process be quicker or more enjoyable or more efficient? <laughs> well, yes, yes and yes. <laughs> <laughs> the if process so, why? He wants to know. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, firstly, it's, it's more enjoyable because you're receiving some of God's love while it's happening. Yeah. So there's love coming from a powerful external source that's entering your soul as you make each trip, if you like, as you make each step up the ladder of progress, you're receiving love from God. And when you receive love from God, you go through these beautiful moments of incredible peace and, and, and beautiful feelings of love as a result. And so naturally... You, you will find it far more enjoyable mm -hmm. than you would have done uh, doing it using another method without God. Yeah. So that's firstly. Secondly, he's, uh, he's said whether, asked whether it's quicker. Well, of course it's quicker. Anything that involves God is going to be quicker because you've got God feeding you truth. Yes. And that means you don't have to go through an experimental process with other people or with the universe itself in order to discover that truth. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, and the beauty too of receiving some of God's love is it sensitizes your heart. It turns your heart from a heart of a rock or yeah. a stone into the heart of flesh. Yeah. You know, something that's malleable, something that something can sensitive. flow into, sensitive. Yeah. And so obviously you're going to become more sensitive to truth more rapidly mm -hmm. if you progress, you know, you, with God. And then the third part of the question was um, more efficient. Well, of course it's more efficient because it involves God. Mm -hmm. You're involving the person who created everything rather than just the creation of everything. Yes. And so as a result, now that you've got some kind of direct communication occurring, albeit sporadically as you're progressing, mm -hmm. it's better than having no communication with God at all. Yeah. And naturally, it's going to be far more efficient. Mm -hmm. So the fastest thing to progression on is to engage God right from right this moment. Yeah right from this moment. So it doesn't matter whether you're in the hells or you're in the second sphere, you're in the sixth sphere, right from this moment, now that you know you can engage God, engage God in this progression and work through first all of the reasons why you're blocked towards God. Do that first. That's the most efficient thing to do. Because if you do that, then all these other truths will come to you and you'll easily be able to progress using that method. So, so it's very, very important to understand that 
the progress towards God, if it's really engaged in the way that we're teaching, it will be smoother, more efficient, more enjoyable and quicker and easier. Yeah. Now, if after five years, none of those things have happened for the majority of people who are listening. It means I've not engaged the process at all. Yeah. Right? Not at all. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. There are, but that's important for them to see. You know, it's important for them to see that they've been using their intellect still. They've still got these blocks towards love, blocks towards truth, blocks towards humility. That's where they need to focus their attention. Mm-hmm. rather than focusing their attention on any new agey philosoph- philosophical thing or focusing their attention on more analysis or focusing their attention on trying to get more truth or of some kind that's not from God but from some mystical process, fo- focusing on mysticism and, and focusing on wanting to feel good through the process, which is a part of the problem, obviously. Yes. If you want to feel good through the process, <laughs> you won't feel good very often. Um, because you're going to be using your addictions mostly and every time you engage your addictions, you're going to have more pain. So, so the reality is if we involve God in a pure sense that's honest and truthful and sincere in our longings, then of course we will progress very rapidly. The only reason why anybody does not progress rapidly is because they're not doing that. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, I find the majority of people progress very slowly. And when I say very slowly, It takes them hundreds, if not thousands of years to progress. The majority of people on earth in particular. It's a bit easier in the spirit world sometimes, particularly once you start reaching the second or third sphere because you're not surrounded by the hells all the time. And so therefore you're not influenced negatively all the time. Whereas on earth, because you're surrounded by the hells all the time, you're influenced negatively frequently unless you actually deal with things emotionally. So it is sometimes harder on earth to progress But there's this other part of Earth progression, which is fantastic, which is you have to have a very strong desire to progress on Earth to actually progress. And once you engage your desire with that power, you'll find the spirit world a breeze. (laughs) You know, you'll find it very easy. So so there are advantages of of each way of progressing. And and God obviously designed us to progress on the Earth anyway. So my suggestion to people is to give up the concept of trying to process their emotion without involving God. You can do it if you wish, but at the end of the day, you're far better off involving God in all of these engagements. And it, it's the relationship with God that will keep drawing you. Mm-hmm. One, you know, once, if, if you don't have a relationship with God, you will not be drawn beyond the sixth dimension anyway. You will not. You'll find it very interesting yeah. and life very interesting, but it won't be the fulfilling and everlastingly progressive life that it could be. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm.